We're here in Linz, Austria, home of WFL, the home of Mule Turn. These guys have a phrase, clamp once, machine complete. Traditionally, WFL are very big into the aerospace sector for mill turn and oil and gas. However, you're showing something a little bit different on this M40 mill turn. Tell me a little bit exactly what is on this machine. Yeah, on this machine, we demonstrate our screw machining capabilities for the plastic industries with different sections. Any screw in the plastic industries have its specific uh, sections where we, where we do the, the plastic um, molding, let's say and here it shows the uh, different areas of such a plastic screw. In the plastics market, they're really using rolling machines for these screws. What makes the WFL a little bit different? Yeah, with the new screws, uh, it's simply sometimes not possible anymore to do it with a traditional whirling method. You have simply to mill it, yeah? And this is what makes our machine here, once again, very competitive. We have a high torque milling unit, we have high speeds, we have great accuracy and all these combined together gives us a great advantage to machine such screws also on our machine. And I understand that you've got an ultrasonic system on this as well. Yes, uh, the ultrasonic system, with the ultrasonic system we can measure wall thickness of a, of a drilled tube let's say and after a certain depth the drill always tends to deflect and by this ultrasonic measurement we can, we can measure the wall thickness all the way around and with this measurement, we can then compensate this deflection of a drill on the OD once again. So this means we get the OD concentric to the ID once again, without, without setting it up once again. Yep. So is that direct feedback to the control as well yes, then? Yes, definitely. But the operator has permanent control over the results. He can check the results, can check the measurements, and yeah, that's the way it works. I see you have a steady here rather than rollers. What are the benefits to, to what you have here then? Yeah. As you can see, the, the, the screw is already machined and, and as the screw is already on, we cannot use any roller anymore. So this is why we have to use such guide pads. And the, during the milling operation, the steady rest is moving along the machining point yeah, to give, a, give us the maximum rigidity during the machining process, during the milling process, let's say. And with the uh, tool changer, how, how many tools can you have on this machine? On this machine, we can store up to 100 tools, 100 HSK or Capital C6 tools, plus three prismatic tools on the prismatic tool changer. Over and above the tool station here, what are the size of other tools that you can actually use on uh, the machining process? Yeah, we can store, on the pickup station, we can store up to three heavy prismatic tools with a maximum length of 1.7 meters and a maximum weight of 150 kilograms. Mm -hmm. 